How's it going, boys and girls? Long time no see and all that shit. So, what dreadful content do I have for you today? Let's see. Mm, one second, let me just check self-deprecation off my checklist. Oh, shit, and being self-aware. Damn, already fucking balling it. <laughs> anyway, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what's going on on YouTube and uh, the shit that everyone else on uh, this fucking site has uh, already covered about two months ago. But, you know, I, I had to let everyone else do the hard work first so I can just swoop in and rip them right off. <laughs> so, uh, as you've probably heard from every YouTuber you watch by now, um, YouTube's been demonetizing a lot of videos that they deem to be or deemed to have improper content or to have adult themes. Um, that was, that's been going on for a while now, but more recently, a shitload of advertisers are pulling their ads off of YouTube because they are scared of what videos they might be shown on. And their arguments aren't completely invalid because there's a lot of weird shit on YouTube, but it's definitely in the minority, and this is a huge overreaction by advertisers. But, you know, it's their money so they can do what they want, really. Fucking Nazis always take it too far and ruin it for the rest of us, don't they? <laughs> but um, as a result of this, a lot of YouTubers, and I'm talking about pretty much all of them, have seen a big cut in their income uh, and now have to increase the amount they upload in order to bring in the same revenue they were making before. Uh, and this is affecting every channel, pretty much, that isn't PewDiePie. Okay. I've even noticed recently people like iDubs, he has drastically increased his uploads recently. Now I'm not saying that's definitely 100% because of these issues. I'm sure Ian has saved up a nice little nest egg from the fucking fortunes he made off of Leafy's misery. Uh, and he may have just decided that he wanted to upload more frequently. I wouldn't presume to know, but to me... It does seem like that timing that he's chosen to suddenly start uploading more frequently, it, it may be more than just a coincidence, you know. And obviously, if it's affecting channels as big as iDubs, then just think what it is doing to smaller channels that might have less than 100k, for instance. This is going to massively stunt their growth as the money that they were receiving before that might have been keeping them afloat, just paying rent, just surviving. If that's now dropped drastically, then they're up shit creek without paddle, basically. Uh, they, they may be left in a very difficult situation, have to make very difficult choices, where they've either got to start making enough content to replace that lost revenue, bring in more views, you know, it's going to be very difficult for them to do that, and it's most likely going to come at the cost of the quality of their videos. Or they're going to have to step away from YouTube and find other means of making a stable income. Now, I'm not suggesting that we all have a fucking pity party for all the YouTubers that become self-made millionaires off of the arduous task of filming a whole 10-minute video of themselves, okay? I know that many people would say YouTubers are immensely overpaid for what they do, and I wouldn't entirely disagree. I wouldn't. But then you have to look at other sectors where people get paid just as ridiculous salaries, like actors or musicians or professional athletes. These roles are all based around entertainment, all provide massive salaries, and it's not too often you hear people complaining about those. Maybe, maybe professional athletes, you might hear it more commonly. But really, in a way, it makes sense that those roles, as well as YouTube, are paid so highly because they're all roles where your income is never certain. Hence the fucking discussion we're having right now. Entertainers can only make money as long as they entertain. If for whatever reason people decide they aren't fucking interested in your shit anymore, then that person has just lost all of their fucking income. And so the high pay is there to compensate for that risk that at any time they might not have a fucking job in the first place. But the main reason I wanted to make this video was to talk about how we, as viewers, can help support YouTubers to ensure that YouTube's content continues. Because if nothing changes and everything carries on the way it is, then my guess is we're going to be seeing a sharp decline in YouTube content. There's going to be fewer new YouTubers coming up. 
It's already fucking impossible as it is, believe me. <laughs> but we're going to see fewer YouTubers coming up. And those that have already garnered a large audience may find that they're suddenly struggling to keep their channels afloat. So I'm just brainstorming here, brainstorming ideas that might help the situation. And I know that, you know, people have already tried things. You know, I know that the fucking mastermind genius Keemstar has already come along with his brilliant, fucking brilliant thank you coke campaign, which I hear is doing super fucking well. And, you know, fuck it, maybe that will solve the advertising problem by itself. And this won't even be an issue by the time I upload this video. And if that's, if that's the fucking case, we'll owe Papa Keem a giant fucking thank you for his amazing work. Seriously. But, you know, if by some unseen act of God, Keem's foolproof fucking plan doesn't save YouTube, well then what I'm suggesting is a small way which we can help YouTubers. Uh, and that is that, and this extends to everyone, you know, but when you go and watch your favourite channels, or when you find new channels, and you're going through their videos because you're enjoying them, when you do that, if you use Adblock, if you use Adblock, or anything like that, just switch it off. It's really easy, it takes one fucking click on the icon and just pause it. And if you see a side ad next to the video, just click on that. Control click on that video. It'll open the ad in a new tab, so you don't lose the video, you don't have to fucking go to the ad site. As soon as the ad's fucking loaded, close the tab. It takes a few seconds, but by doing that, you could be helping out your favourite channels to stay on YouTube and to keep this entertainment media alive. Because if we don't take these sorts of steps, we could lose some of the internet's favourite entertainment. And believe it, I'm not saying this for my benefit. I don't care the traffic to make more than a few pence off YouTube, and I don't monetize my videos anyways, so I'm not getting anything out of saying this to you. I'm just trying to suggest a way that you can help support channels that you don't want to see disappear. Because it's a real fucking possibility that that could happen. And it could happen to names that you might not expect it to happen to. A lot of channels these days have Patreons and things like that. That because the ad revenue from YouTube just it isn't already enough to support them. And you can help channels out in that way if you want. But if you don't have the money or you don't want to commit money in that way... What I'm suggesting will still help out these channels, but it won't cost you anything more than a few seconds of your time to switch off Adblock. And if you don't use Adblock anyways, then fucking great. You're already a patron saint, uh, and you're already helping the channels that you watch on YouTube. But if you do, think about it. Think about pausing it next time you watch a, ch a channel, your sub to, because it will probably help them out more than you think. Is it going to save YouTube? Probably not. But it's a step in the right direction. So, yeah, that, that's my fucking mastermind brilliant scheme. Um, probably a bit more basic than you might have been expecting. But, you know, it's, it's something. It's a, it's a small token to show that we want to support people. And we're willing to do more than just start a fucking hashtag. Because hashtags are great. But as I've mentioned in the past with all the fucking hashtags about terrorist attacks... Are they really going to solve anything? Probably not. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's it from me. I've gone on long enough. Thank you and congrats if you managed to make it this far into the video. Um, I know I haven't uploaded in a couple months. I've had a lot of things going on. Uh, a lot of things, family things that happened to me in March that just completely stopped me doing anything on here. And um, it's taken me a little while to pick it back up. But I think in that time, I've only lost like one sub. And then I gained a couple, so you know I'm pretty impressed with that. I'm, I'm, you know, I must have been <laughs> doing something right. Maybe it's a good thing that wasn't around. <laughs> but uh, I wanted, to, yeah, I just want to thank those that stuck by the channel. Um, that you probably just forgot you were sub to it in the first place, to be honest. But uh, it, it doesn't matter. I, I, I forgive you and, and thank you. But uh, until the next time, uh, and there should hopefully be a next time. But uh, until the next time, I'm out. Bye bye bye. To take you down, I was the